Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. and I am back with another gardening project. So today we are doing maintenance, maintenance, maintenance. So if you caught my last video after my little heat wave update, you know that A, we had a horrible heat wave, B, then we had some glorious rain, glorious rain for about two, three days. So everything that was really stressed is actually looking quite a bit better. But some things like uh, the salvia here, salvia over there, um, just have been bloomed out. The heat wave did them no favors. And there's also lots of weeds because if there's anything weeds like, it's heat. So basically I'm gonna be going through the garden with my little snips and giving anything like the salvia the old heed pose. So we're gonna deadhead all these plants that were stressed, that are looking just a little crispy. That way they can come back with fresh new blooms as the season progresses. Um, because of the heat wave, some things that should still have blooms might be done for the season. Same things like the cone flowers. And that's okay, we'll cut them back. If they rebloom, great. If not, cone flowers especially are perennials. Now my annuals, like my Super Tunia Vista bubblegum and the Vinca annuals, typically at least the ones I plant because I live in a hot climate, love sun and they are all blooming like crazy, happy as clams. So it's mostly the perennials that we're gonna be working on today. And then weeds, 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 pulling weeds. All day, every day. So, oh my gosh, you guys, my great myrtle has buds. I've been looking, look, it's starting to bloom. Oh, I'm so excited. You don't understand. I have been coming out here and looking at this tree every day for weeks. And there have been no seeds, no blooms, no buds. And now they're everywhere. I don't see any on that tree, but I'm not as close to it. So today is going to be a good day. We are going to give everything in the garden a little once over. We're gonna pull some weeds. We're just gonna tidy everything up and then everything will be looking so much better and we'll be able to enjoy our crepe myrtle tree. I'm so excited now. <laughs> Let's get started because if we do the whole garden, we could be here for a while. <laughs> Okay, so we are done all the way down. You can see all of the crepe myrtle blooms. This tree never bloomed last year, so this is very exciting. The other tree bloomed last year, and I see no buds on it this year, so go figure. But if you saw halfway through, I went through, I deadheaded all these salvia, the pentas, these salvia, cleaned up that lamb's ear, sprayed everything with BT because you can see there is quite a bit of damage from some kind of caterpillar, I'm thinking. If the BT doesn't help, then we'll try neem oil. But came over here, started cutting back the foxglove, and then this is where things got hairy. So I don't know if you saw, but I was pulling out the dead snapdragons from where we interplanted all the vinca. So we had a row of snapdragons in here. There's one right there. Okay. And I interplanted those with vinca. So as the snapdragons died, the vinca would start to grow up and fill in, which they are doing. Need a few more in here. But when I was reaching right under this bush, you might have seen me leap back. <laughs> and that's because I had a sharp pain on my hand. 
And when you look under here, I am not going to get too close. There's a wasp nest right there. These babies were dive bombing me and stinging the crap out of my hand. So just remember, just because it is too hot outside for you to be in your garden does not mean it has not been taken over by the creepy crawlies. So just be cautious as you get back out into your garden from the heat wave. I'm going to have to deal with that, but not right now. We'll wait till the sun goes down and we will spray them and get rid of them. But for now, we're just going to give them a wide berth. Went through, cut back all of these salvia, pulled all of these snapdragons, sprayed anything over here with BT that needed it, pulled more snapdragons, cut back more salvia, more foxglove, pulled more snapdragons here. These, uh, Xenia, some of them are doing really good. Some of them are struggling. We'll see. This butterfly bush is looking good, starting to put out lots of new growth. And of course, our roses that we transplanted, looking good. Lots of flowers and buds. So this is where we sprayed some more BT because these begonias are a little, a little eaten. So we're going to go ahead need to get some more compost right in here. We're going to go down, continue the cleanup on that half of the garden. Okay, so we are all done. We cut back all the foxglove that were dying back. We cut back the angelonia. Still haven't found anything definitive on the angelonia. It blooms continuously up the stalk, but all it, it was fully mature and there had been no blooms for at least a month. So cut it back to about six inches and we will see if it blooms again for us this year. If not, hopefully it'll return again next year. But foxglove, we went ahead. I took out anything blatantly dead and anything, even if it doesn't look great, that's still green. I left with hopes that those seeds will spread around as they die and make new plants for next year. But I am hot, hot, hot. Even though the heat wave is done, that does not mean it is cool in Alabama. It is literally still... 85 degrees here today and it is like right now 85 degrees it is 5 30 at night in the shade so we did about an hour's worth of work deadheading everything that needed it for the season and after the heat wave and we will come out and do more a different day hope you guys like this video bye <laughs>